You don't notice how depressing it actually is. <laughs> Which is, is a hallmark of folk music throughout the ages. Just listen to Knoxville Girl carefully. Uh, you'd be shocked and horrified. And uh, stop listening to folk music altogether. Maybe I don't know. I first heard Knoxville Girl when I was a teenager. I'm like, my God, that's horrifying. Um, I am having such a nice time here. This is a beautiful place, and thank you, Dave, for having me in back down. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Strange weekend. They're all, they're all strange now, I guess. <laughs> um, but it's been a nice weekend. I spent I spent most of it in the van, I'm just kind of just driving around. Um, I'm going to drive around tonight. I'm going to drive to St. Paul and uh, sleep for a few hours, and I'm going to drive to Duluth because I'm on my way to Columbus, Ohio, and it seems like a good way to go. <laughs> Stop in Duluth first, uh, and then get on to Columbus from there. Uh, you know, and I want to see my kids, uh, and we're going to have tacos, uh, uh, apparently. Said so I'm going to come see you guys. You know, you guys, they're they're you know 116, 121. They got lives, they you know boyfriend, jobs, things like that. Um, they're not you know. Uh, as, as excited about being parented as they were when they were children and you could you know you could encroach some parenting on them and it's different now so I said I'm gonna come up and see it do you guys have time and they said if we have tacos if tacos are involved we have some time <laughs> so I'm going I'm going out east I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks you know that's all right we just need some tacos and then, okay so we're gonna have tacos and then I'm gonna head out Tomorrow night, I'm going to try to see if I can get to that nice rest area south of Beloit before I stop. It's nice. It's, it's a quiet one. The best rest area in the United States that I've found so far for sleeping overnight in your car, if you're into that kind of thing, which I'm not, but I do it anyway, is the Alabama Welcome Center. If you're leaving Atlanta, Georgia, and you cross the state line into Alabama, It'll be the Alabama Welcome Center right there at the state line, and that's where you want to sleep. I stopped there once, and I was I was I was so tired. And it's got all these beautifully manicured areas, tiered lawns, different little kind of parking areas. They're not all just like clustered together. You're separated by a long ways from the from the diesel trucks that run all night. And I get there, and I find a beautiful place to park. And I, I get my little toothbrush out and I go in the building to, to brush my teeth and do my, you know, going to bedtime stuff, you know. And there's an old man with a uniform and a sidearm on. And I thought, oh crap, that's not going to help me much because usually that means I got a goal. <laughs> but he, he, he just said good, good evening and I went and brushed my teeth and I came back out again and I kind of paused and he said, uh, you get some sleep now, son. Aww. Aww. I just about started to cry. <laughs> I wanted to give him a hug, but I knew I would get shot. <laughs> so, you guys are down that way. It's a really nice one. He's probably still there. <laughs> I don't even know if he was an official member of the, the situation there. I think he might have just been a guy. <laughs> you can get a, you can get clothing that looks like a uniform anywhere you go. <laughs> used work clothes in Detroit, Michigan, for example, has a nice selection of used police officer uniforms. <laughs> Plus, they cater food. If you buy if you buy your uniform there, you can get a free piece of spice cake from the window in the back. <laughs> I have shopped there whenever I'm in Detroit. <laughs> I have a weird lifestyle. That's okay.